I recently mentioned in one of my sermons about something that I wrote in my journal. And since then, I've received some questions about um, what do I do with a journal? What's the purpose of a journal? How do I use it? Because people are thinking, well, maybe it'd be helpful for them. Some have expressed a desire actually for a journal, and they're just looking for some input. Well, first, let me say that uh, I am not authoritative on what your journal should be, okay? Uh, but I think the idea of a journal is that uh, there's something to be said for sitting and writing, thinking about, thinking about what I'm thinking about, thinking about what my heart is saying to God and, and trying to put that into words sometimes. Uh, and so a journal can be a number of things. Some people use a journal as sort of a diary to talk about what's going on in their lives and maybe add some you know, questions for God about that or, or perceptions or bring some scripture in. And that's great. I've done that at different times in my life. I find that uh, difficult for me to continue, though, because when I start writing about that, there is so much to write about. And so I don't use my journal for that anymore. Uh, just occasionally, I may, but it shows up in there. Um, so first of all, we want to get a journal, something that you like, something that you like to write in. This works really well for me. Uh, it's fairly expensive. It's leather bound. It's got the acid free pages in it. Um, and it, it lasts. I mean, I, I have a number of these that I've used, but they are expensive, but you don't have to have something like this. I know that for Glenda, just a spiral notebook works great. She's fine with that. And sometimes she has different sizes ones when she's used it. And, um, but even like an essay book, you know, a bound essay book might be good for you to write in. Whatever works for you. I've used uh, all sorts of different things over the years, but I've kind of settled on this at this point in my life. It's very uniform. I get the same one each time I run out, and so it's the same all the time. <clears throat> uh, but again, pick something that works well for you. Now, what I do in my journal, I'll just share you with what I do right now. Uh, I write a number of things in there. First, I, I typically write the date, and I write the, t the day, date, and time, and then I write where I am. And so in this case, I'm on the deck. And the deck, I've been able to be on the deck for the last few days here, which is really, really nice. I'm not always able to do that. So sometimes I'm writing, at, I'm at the dining room table or sometimes in the home, home office. But I just do that for myself. And then I put what the, the weather is like, sunny, cloudy, rainy, snowy, whatever, and what the temperature is. Uh, there's no spiritual significance to that other than that I just like to think about that. I like when I look back and I'm... I'm trying to envision, you know, what was going on when I wrote this. Sometimes that, that helps me. Um, I have some other things that I'm keeping track across here that I know what the, they mean, and I, I write that down. These are things that I'm working on, just a little uh, code kind of thing for me. Uh, and then I typically just write maybe the two or three things that I think are planned for the day. Okay? All right. So then what I do is that I take, and I take this... Uh, this side, and I, I write on this first, and I write however far it goes. And what this is, is this is my prayer, my starting prayer with God for the day. Now, I may have already talked to God some at this point. I, um, I'm not locked into that. Uh, in fact, I like to when I get up to be aware that He is there and that I'm, I'm meet with Him. And uh, so I get up, I get the coffee made, I get my stuff out, get ready to go, sit down, and then I write this. And for me, I start off, good morning, Father, and then I... I either praise him for something, maybe something I'm seeing outside if I'm on the deck, or maybe something that's going on in life, something I've seen in his word recently, or I may thank him for something. Um, there are times when I'm just overwhelmed about something that's going on in my life, and so I might jump right into just talking about that to some extent. And so, so that's varying lengths. As you can see, some, this took most of the page, and this just took a small part of the page. Uh, and so whatever works for you there. Um, let's see here, if I can read something to you here, so that's kind of personal, so sometimes I, I don't want to uh, share that, but anyway, so for example, uh, Friday the 23rd of July, good morning, Father, my life is good because of you, your son died and rose for me, your spirit lives within strengthening and guiding me, your word is a lamp to my feet and a light to my path. You have brought me to a good place and are leading me to a better one. 
You have changed me so much. Yet when I look carefully at myself, past the outer layers, there's still much work to be done. Little selfishnesses, that's an interesting word, selfishnesses, maybe bigger than I think, still reside in me, challenging my motives and my responses. I'm so grateful and encouraged that you are and will be faithful to complete the good work you started in me. Be glorified in me today. Keep teaching me to walk in the Spirit. I want to be and live a holy life that glorifies you. In Jesus' name, amen. And you don't have to always write in Jesus' name, amen. You're, if you're praying with a heart that's connected to Jesus, you don't have to say that. I usually do, but I don't always, okay? Um, so that's just an opening prayer for me. Then I have, um, I use this for my prayer requests. It took me a lot of years to try to figure out. I had loose pieces of paper, writing in a journal. And it keeps, anyway, so but for me, I have um, a prayer journal and I have things that are marked daily ongoing for myself and for my family. I have a couple pages of that. I write things in here. I write notes over here related to these. Maybe something happened on a specific date uh, that I can change. And then I get into uh, daily requests that are temporary, that are not ongoing, you know, needs and issues in people's lives and, and family, uh, close uh, friends like that. I, I pray in those and I use, I'll, I was, again, I'll kind of write a date when I started. I do, again, write notes over here related to these prayer requests. And so this is what I use to talk with God. And sometimes I go through it real fast. It's the nature of where things are at. And sometimes I spend time and ponder and really talk with God. And then I'll show you what's interesting about this is I flip the book over, okay? And in the back side, I have my prayer, things that I pray for as a pastor, as for the people of our church and the work and ministries in our church. And I do the same thing there. And there's more to it than that. But my point is, is I'm not including that prayer in this journal. That's, that's what works best for me. And you could certainly include anything that you want in your journal, right? It's between you and God. And uh, there's something to be thinking about is that you might want to think about as you write things in your journal that um, two things. One is if anybody else is in your life and around, they could happen onto your journal and read it. Now, it doesn't mean you don't need, you can't be open and honest. You just got to think, you know, uh, let, let's, if I were... If I were struggling in my relationship with Glenda and I wanted to write something and I wrote something that I was feeling about her here and then, you know, I, I, I took the Lord and got over it and I'm fine. But if Glenda were to accidentally pick this up and read it, it might be hurtful to her. So I'm careful about those kinds of things and I'm not hiding anything. I, I do definitely talk to God about the things I need to talk to him about. And sometimes I'll speak a little cryptically in my prayers. And um, but anyway, that's personal to me as well. Um, so then, for me, I usually have some um, book of the Bible I'm reading through, like I'm preaching through 1 Corinthians now, but before I did that, I read through 1 Corinthians. And, and so I read through, and then what I do is, let's see here, I'll show you. Hang on here, that's right. So I write up here you know, what verses I'm looking at today, and then I write some notes. I, I actually sometimes copy parts of the Scripture, often copy parts of Scripture, and then make some comments on it, thoughts, questions, um, observations, and, and maybe talk. Sometimes I include a little more prayer to God about that and what's going on. Uh, so here I did 1 Corinthians 16, 13 through 14. Next day I did 1 Corinthians 16, 15 through 18. And I usually pretty much quit on one page. That works for me. Yeah, I've had times in my life where I read, wrote three or four pages a day, and it's just, it's, it's really good, but it's just, it became more for me than I wanted to be. I wanted my time with God to be about my time with God and less about me writing. So for me, that was important. Um, I could see, certainly, there'd be times, places where I might want to write a lot more and talk with God and, and work through it that way. So really, it's whatever works best for you to help you. And I've changed really. I mean, I've changed what I do with my journal. I've changed how it's set up over the years. And this is where I'm at right now. Um, and so I'd be glad to talk with any of you who have questions about, you know, what would be the benefit of a journal or 
or how you might go about some things. I'd be glad to talk with you about it. I do find it to be very valuable for me. This is, is almost every day. And there's occasional days when it you know, doesn't happen. Either we had to leave real early or for some reason I got up real late. Uh, but almost every day I have this. I have my prayer book. And what I do is, I, for me, I write that first prayer in here my, about what I'm talking about with God in, in a big picture kind of way. And then I go to praying and I pray for all those personal requests that I have every day. And then um, I um, open the Word. And this is when I read through those sections. Sometimes I read more than I'm writing about. But I do try to you know, keep working through it. And that's when I make those notes in my journal. And then I also, uh, and I don't have it, I guess I have it handy here actually. Yeah, well, it's, it's zipped up in my bag. But I usually have some book that I'm reading that's about a, my relationship with God, about a relationship with God. What does that mean? How does that look? Um, sometimes it's more doctrinal in nature, spiritual, philosophical, but more often not. Like, like right now I'm reading a book on prayer. And just really beneficial. And so then I include that in my prayer time. I don't usually write that in my journal. By that time I'm done writing in my journal. Um, but I do a lot of underlining in there. And sometimes I quote those things on Facebook. Just kind of when I find something that's key that I think is worth sharing. So those are some ideas about a journal. And again, like I said, I'd be glad to talk with you if you have further questions. So God bless you as you continue to lean into your relationship with Him and, and specifically set aside time to pursue that relationship with Him and, and maybe a journal being part of that.